in almost every common law jurisdiction, the respect for the institution of the law is non-negotiable. In fact, historically, the courts have been referred to, and even to these modern times, they are still referred to as the temple of justice. So there is a certain serenity with which the courts are treated. Now, with the civil law system, the courts don't have that kind of respect because the presence of the executive and the centrality of power from the presidency is so overwhelming that the judge who presides over cases and has the yam and the knife in deciding a case in the civil law system is actually the lesser of the officials of the court which is a, the contrary in common law jurisdiction because when the chief justice when the justice who is presiding over a case is looked upon as the ultimate is looked upon as the embodiment of the law in fact there is this saying that the law is written on the breast of the judge but in the common law the stronger person is the attorney the state attorney and it is so ridiculous that we have a recent example in our present struggle and this explains why they arrest our people from the common law jurisdiction and they ship them over to the civil law jurisdiction to be tried because the kind of things that happen in the civil law jurisdiction can never happen in the common law jurisdiction right from magna carta the right to fair hearing is uncompromisable in common law jurisdiction but in the civil law jurisdiction what reigns supreme is the wishes of the executive i'm sure people in the common in the civil law jurisdiction might not be shocked but the whole common law world is shocked that and the judge of the High Court of Fundi will listen to an application for habeas corpus by Mr. Aya Paul, a Deputy Attorney General of the Supreme Court of Cameroon, and finds that the decision has to go in favor of the applicant but the minister of judge justice who is not a presiding magistrate summons him and tell him you cannot do that because the presidency wants this we common law lawyers may be shocked but that is normality as far as civil law jurisdiction is concerned and to any civilized system it is an aberration of justice that the dictates of the executive can overrule the decisions of the court. Meanwhile, the whole essence of checks and balance in a democratic system is that the executive, like the legislature, is ultimately checked by the judiciary. But when the judiciary is under the rule of thumb of the executive, then you know all is lost as far as access to justice is concerned.